All right, if you're a human being, you've been on the internet lately, and I'm sure you have seen a lot of talk about divine feminines and divine masculines. I feel like it's been like a trending topic on TikTok and Twitter lately, and most people don't really know what it is, which is fine. I'm not here to like gatekeep the phrase and act like I'm all knowing, cause I'm not, I'm not. But I have been pretty in tune with the definitions and the whole idea of this type of energy uh, since the beginning of my spiritual journey. I think a lot of people think that putting on some nail polish and like doing your makeup is like getting in tune with your soft girl feminine energy and your divine feminine being. It's not really that. Yeah, that's a great thing. And if you want to channel your feminine energy, I'm sure you can do those things. But I mean, these sayings don't really have much to do with actual genders. When you're doing like girly things and you're saying you're in tune with your divine feminine energy, I just, from a spiritual perspective, I don't really see that as part of the journey, but to each their own. I actually don't care. I'm just here to talk about it with you guys. In case you're curious about what it is, if you've been hearing the term a lot lately online, maybe you want to know what it is, and that's what I'm here for. But before we get into that, I want to light some incense because it smells delicious, and I just want to smell it right now. So this is one of the Nag Shampa scents. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's the blue box. It smells amazing. Smell it. Mmm, so good, right? So calming. This is one of my favorite incenses to use when I meditate. Um, along with the incense, we also got a couple little iced coffee. Here's McDonald's iced coffee. <laughs> I just put it in a glass so it would look cuter, but the ice melted, so. Anyways, before we get into the video, if you're new here, my name is Ashley, and on my channel, I make spiritual content, comedy, lifestyle, all types of content. So if you like my personality, you like me, you like my face, stick around and see what I'm all about. But today we're talking about divine feminine and divine masculine energy, how to channel it, what it is, all of that. Before we even get into that though, I do want to preface the video by saying that divine feminine and divine masculine energy are non-gender conforming. They do not correspond to your biological gender. So if you're non-binary or you know, you identify as a specific gender and you feel like you don't have anything to do with these terms, you probably still do. I'm not trying to put a label on you, I'm just saying that we're all capable of channeling a certain type of energy and I mean if you don't want to that's okay, whatever you're comfortable with. But I just don't want you guys to think that it has to correspond to your biological gender because it doesn't. Like I'm a biological female, I identify as a female, but I can be very much in tune with my masculine energy and that that's okay to me. All right, so let's get into the video. First of all, let's just start by saying from what I've read and the research I've done, I've heard that this originally stems from ancient Egyptian principles, which I found very interesting. I also learned that divine feminine and divine masculine energy is pretty much the foundation for a twin flame relationship. So usually when you're entering a twin flame union, if you guys are not able to come into union, properly, it's likely because one of your energies are off balance. So maybe you're in tune with your masculine, but your partner is not in tune with their feminine and there's a lack of balance there. So you guys are not ready for each other. But when you're both in tune with the energy and you're equaling each other, you're balancing each other out, it's the perfect building foundation for a twin flame union. Basically the two counterparts of twin flame relationship. So these energies are very different. Of course, the divine feminine is kind of how you would imagine a woman. More intuitive, more emotional, nurturing, loving. Divine masculine is more assertive, logical, decision-making type of person. More aggressive, more decisive. The divine feminine directs energy inwards and the divine masculine kind of pushes it out. That's why, again, we need that balance. Kind of like magnets, you know? Okay, I always like to do a little definition from Google to help you guys understand it a bit better. So I'm gonna tell you guys the divine feminine um, definition. So the divine feminine is generally thought to represent the part of our consciousness that connects us to qualities like intuition, feeling, nurturing, receptivity, and interconnectedness. It's a type of energy that everyone can access and tap into, not something tangible, nor a secret club that you need a membership to access, which is what the internet makes it seem. They make it seem like, oh, I'm in my divine feminine area. You bitches could never, if you know, you know. The girls that get it, get it. It's, like, it's not like that. It's not some exclusive little club in which like only some of us can access, you know? It's not like that. We can be very much in tune with our divine feminine and reach a really peak high of being in that energy without ever actively trying to tap into that energy. It's not something that you really choose to do. I mean, you can, you can set intentions and tune into it. 
However, a lot of times, like some people are just naturally in tune with their feminine energy. For me, for example, I found that in my relationship with an ex, I was really in tune with my masculine energy and I feel like my feminine was kind of wounded. And it's not like I was trying to be the masculine in that relationship, it just happened. I was the one taking action on a lot of things. I was very decisive. I just channeled that energy more, I don't know why. And although that person will probably disagree, they were completely out of tune with their divine masculine energy. Their shadow and their ego took over that part of them and their masculine was just like extremely wounded. But I don't think he knew that. You can be in your divine feminine energy for like four days and like tap back into your usual self. Like it's not something that you're just like in a state of being for eternity. It's like an on and off process and it's okay, it's just, it's human. So let's talk about some traits. First of all, I wanna start by saying the divine feminine is more of a receiver and the divine masculine is more of a doer. Neither one is better than the other. I don't want you to think that, you know, the feminine is just kind of like submissive and sitting in the background as the man, the masculine energy, like takes over and gets shit done. It's not like that. It's it's a balance. There is a beautiful energy in both of these. So neither one is better than the other. The divine feminine is more soft. They're more empathetic. They're more intuitive. This is the type of energy that you want to be around, but you also kind of feel like you need to be around. You know those friends who are like the moms of the group? Picture that as like the divine feminine. Or let me think of like a celebrity. Ooh, FK Twigs. I don't know her, but she seems very in tune with her divine feminine energy. It's those people that really radiate that feminine, soft, pure, nurturing energy. Like you see them and you just feel like, oh, I feel like calm around you. Janae Aiko, she is in tune with her feminine energy. Harry Styles, he seems to be very much in tune with his divine feminine energy. You're unapologetically yourself, you're in tune with yourself. Because once you're in tune with yourself, you're able to be of service to others. Feminine energy is being. You're just being yourself, you're unapologetically you. You are just being. You are there, you're present. Usually very intuitive. You're not only in tune with yourself, but you're in tune with others. You know like in those movies where you see like a couple and the woman is like trying to warn her partner like, I don't trust this person or I don't like that this person's doing this or blah, 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 blah. And then the man doesn't listen and then months later shit goes down and like, not even just movies, this happens all the time in real life. At times when you're in tune with your divine feminine energy, you're just all knowing. Like, you have this intuition, it's like that mother's intuition almost that you get with a child, in which you just kind of know and feel when things are not right. Someone that's aligned with that energy will be able to do that easily and without any effort at all. They're also very much in tune with their emotions. They don't feel the need to put on a mask or hide their vulnerability. They're very open to feelings. A healthy divine feminine energy will go through a breakup, cry it out and lean into their emotions and not run from their emotions. They'll deal with it as they come and they'll be totally okay with that. They direct their energy and their emotions inwards. Not in the sense that they internalize it, but they, they take it all in. Like they allow themselves to feel, they go through it and then they let it out. And they also encourage others to do that. They're able to be there for others because they're so in tune and so in control of their own emotions that they're able to kind of take on the emotions of others and help them like steer that ship and navigate through them. The divine feminine is soft and loving. Their energy is almost contagious. They love themselves, they set boundaries, they're kind. And when paired with the right energy, a healed masculine they can be very trusting and allow that person to kind of take over for a little bit when a divine feminine and divine masculine energy come together in a healthy way the balance that's there is beautiful for example my parents i don't think they're even aware of these terms but they just have like a really good system going like my mother is seemingly very in tune with her feminine and my father seems to be very in tune with his masculine they have their own roles in their marriage like they, they know their part in the marriage and they know what they're good at. They know their flaws, they know their strengths and weaknesses and they work together in such a balanced way. They're actually also opposite zodiac signs so I think that helps too. But yeah, my mom takes over the stuff that you would imagine a divine feminine would and vice versa. They know their roles and that's what I see in a lot of healthy relationships. And again, this does not have to be like a straight hetero relationship. This could be any type of relationship. Two females that are together could have a balanced masculine and balanced feminine energy between the two of them. Two men, it doesn't matter. This is, again, 
not specific to biological genders. I don't want to make anyone feel excluded. Let's be real, the internet has changed and I do have to be a little bit more careful on how I'm speaking now to make sure that everyone feels included in what I'm saying. I am a work in progress. So if I'm like careless with my words, I'm so sorry. I'm really trying here. I just, I've been on YouTube for 14 years and it changes yearly. So sometimes I'm like scared to say things. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to make anyone feel bad. But anyways, okay, just correct me if I fuck up, please, please. In a nice way though. Let's move on to the masculine. The masculine is logical, they are decisive, they are assertive, they know what they want, they'll go after it, they're pursuers, they're hunters. Let me give you an example just quickly before I even get into the masculine. So for example, with a couple, let's say, or a budding couple um, of a woman and a man, let's just use that as an example. So with a divine masculine and a divine feminine energy that are balanced and healthy, in this situation, the divine masculine, take a shot every time I say that by the way, will typically pursue and hunt the feminine. I know that sounds like so traditional and like we're in the fucking 1930s, but it's just, it is what it is. I am the type of person that this is the kind of relationship that I would want. I want the man to channel his masculine energy and see me, know what he wants and pursue me and make sure that that's what he gets, you know? That's the type of man that will typically court a female and he will pursue her in a way that he makes sure he, she knows how special she is, how, you know, how much he like cares about her, how much he wants her. He'll usually like pay for the date, take care of her, make her feel like a soft woman. And then the woman, the feminine energy, will typically allow herself to be spoiled, sit back, relax, but also provide like mental stimulation and emotional intelligence advice wisdom and she'll probably also you know channel her feminine energy if, if this is what she's into and make herself look good for him smell good you know all that and that will be like a beautifully divine relationship because these are two people who balance each other out like he knows what he wants he's going after her and she's gonna let herself relax and be pursued if they end up together if they end up married he'll probably take on a lot of the hard work when it comes to paying the bills, working more hours, maybe he gets paid more because we know men get paid more um, and he'll probably make sure she feels like she's taken care of and she'll be able to make her own money as well, you know, but still know that if shit hits the fan, she's okay because her partner is taking care of her, but she's also there for him in many ways that he can't do for her, but she's also there for him in many other ways, emotionally, things like that. Again, it's just an example. Everyone's relationship is different, but that is how I see an ideal uh, divine masculine and feminine partnership. The divine masculine knows what he wants, whether it's career, whether it's his future partner, whether it is the car of his dreams, doesn't matter. They know what they want and they go after it if they have drive and if they're in tune. So this is an example I heard in a video. Picture a flower that is blooming. The flower is a beautiful, delicate, soft, divine, feminine energy. That is the divine feminine. That's the flower. But the flower might not bloom without the aggression of the divine masculine pushing it up out of the soil or whatever. The flower won't burst from the bud without the aggression of the divine masculine. And this doesn't have to mean that we need that divine masculine person to aggressively push the flower out of the bud. It could mean that we're in tune with our feminine and our masculine, and our masculine side is what's bursting the flower out of the bud. Do you know what I mean? So again, we don't need another person. We can have that balance all within ourselves. Aggression equals change. And with this relationship, this dynamic, we have that change and we can become that change. The divine masculine really represents growth and expansion. So I guess that relates to the flower analogy as well. When you're growing and expanding, that means that your divine masculine energy is being exercised because it's forcing you to get up there and grow and change. But when this side of you is wounded, then the energy is bound up, which is very likely. You'd be surprised. Many people have wounded energy. So let's talk about how to get in tune with your divine feminine and your divine masculine energy. So I'm just gonna give you a few quick tips on how to get in tune. Let's start with the feminine. One thing about women in general and feminine energy is that our intuition is crazy. The woman's intuition does not lie. The problem is a lot of us doubt it 
<laughs> we do we doubt it even if we're in a relationship with a woman and they're saying something we're probably gonna doubt what they're saying too something about something about this woman's intuition is just so accurate and yet we have such a hard time trusting ourselves or other people so one of the first things you can do to get in tune with your divine feminine energy is by practicing trusting your intuition start listening to yourself sit quietly ask your guides ask your god ask yourself to start giving you some inner guidance and listen to it pay attention whatever the first couple things that come to mind are whatever your spirit is telling you trust that it's for a reason and start practicing that as much as you can work on trusting yourself that's number one number two listen to yourself very similar but this isn't like this in the sense of an intuitive way this is more of a I'm gonna set boundaries and actually stick by them and listen to myself type of way. For example, if you tell yourself, I don't wanna go out this weekend because I'm tired but I feel like I'm gonna get FOMO, just listen to yourself. You don't wanna go out this weekend, simple. Why should you go out? Because you feel like you're gonna miss out on some fun. The weekend will be back next week. It will, it will be back next week. Listen to your wants, listen to your needs, listen to yourself in general. If you feel in your gut, oh, I don't think I should be friends with this person anymore, stop being friends with that person don't just keep giving it time because you feel like they might change if you know what you want just do what you got to do number three connect with your heart there are many ways to do this i mean of course i could say things like rose quartz um you can listen to a healing sound bath on youtube of someone playing like a singing bowl in the chord oh my god i forget is it c f i forget in the chord that corresponds to your heart chakra that helps maybe a good old self-care day connecting with your heart is very important i actually like to put my hand on my heart and just take like six deep breaths in and out for four so i'll count one two three four exhale one two three four and i'll do that six times while holding my heart and i'll picture green in my mind because that's the color that corresponds to the heart chakra i'll just do like a literally like a 30 second meditation that can help you connect to your heart as well this will just help you get back in tune with yourself and your heart and your feminine energy number four if you identify as a female it's always nice to do like a little self-care day by taking care of yourself in ways that you would typically imagine like an ultra feminine woman to do so whatever that means to you for me specifically that might mean um changing my nail polish taking off my chip nails and putting a fresh new layer maybe shaving my legs putting a nice lavender body oil on putting a diffuser on you know just making myself feel good and clean and fresh just getting more in tune with my feminine side maybe i'll put in a little bit more makeup or wear a dress and just feel girlier than usual that always helps me get in tune but i do enjoy being girly like it depends on the day sometimes i don't feel like being it at all and i'll have more of like an androgynous look but sometimes i just get more girly like today i was feeling real girly um so i decided to go with like a cute little pink top and you know do my hair uh, so yeah you could do something like that number five lean into your emotions stop running from vulnerability open up to a friend cry it out listen to emotional music lean into your emotions if you're someone who like needs to lock yourself in a room and cry at the end of the week that you've been like tears that you've been holding in all week you are not in tune with your divine feminine energy you need to let that shit out when it comes to you if it's in your car in the middle of the day cry it out in your car in the middle of the day if it's at wing stop at 3 p.m cry it out at wing stop at 3 p.m one thing about me I will cry I will cry no shame whatsoever I don't care I might not sob and wail and <gasps> in the middle of the public bathroom but I will do you know a little sniffle and I'll cry and let my emotions out because I'm human and I'm in tune with that side of myself and you'd be surprised how healing it can be to lean into your emotions rather than like running from them so that's a really great way to connect number six i think it is uh do a meditation online or however you want to do it that helps you unblock and align your root and heart chakra i have a whole video on chakras if you don't understand them i made it very simple on my video you can check that out i'll link it down below so you can check it out if you want to but in a quick way of saying it like we have seven chakras those are like the energy points in our body that help us like kind of connect to ourselves and over here we have our heart chakra and lower towards like our like, pelvic area we have our root chakra that's like a really grounding one and if you unblock those two it can be very helpful to this part of your journey i suggest looking up heart chakra unblock meditation on youtube and you'll find a hundred different videos with like meditative sounds and exercises so i think that's really helpful all right how do you get in tune with your masculine energy let's talk about that now 
Number one, work on your self-awareness and your confidence. A lot of men, let's just say men for now, are not in tune with their masculine energy. They think they are because they're misogynistic and um, they are overly masculine people. But just because you go to the gym and you pump weights and you say fuck yeah and you chug beers, it does not mean that you're in tune with your masculine energies. Like when's the last time you cried? When's the last time you like told someone how you felt about them? When's the last time you looked in the mirror and like got to know yourself and you know, like I don't see a lot of men doing this unfortunately. So becoming self-aware is huge. It is a huge part of this journey. Understanding yourself, understanding your triggers, why you are the way you are, your flaws, your strengths, your weaknesses, this is crucial. And once you do that, it will unlock new layers to yourself that will help you work on your confidence. A divine masculine is a confident person. They know who the fuck they are, they know their worth, they know what they can provide, and they're not afraid to show that to other people. And with that, they know what they want, and that's when they're able to go after the feminine energy. So that, I think, is like the first thing you gotta work on. Number two, once you build that confidence, being unapologetically yourself is so freeing. Oh my god. I'm still working on this. I think parts of me are not fully there yet. I try my hardest to be in tune with that, but it's hard, you know? It's really hard sometimes to be unapologetically you at all times, but if you can master this and just be your authentic version with everyone you meet within seconds, you will feel so free and you'll be very in tune with yourself. Number three, having the ability to be in tune and in control of your emotions is crucial. I'm not just talking about like, oh, cry it out, like I mentioned. I'm talking every emotion. Your anger, how do you deal with anger? Are you in control of it or are you a hothead? How do you deal with your sadness? Do you project it onto other people or do you deal with it silently or do you open up and also deal with it as well on your own? How do you deal with your joy? Do you share it with others or do you just keep it to yourself because you feel like nobody gives a fuck? Like, how do you monitor your emotions? Being in tune and in control of your emotions is so important. Number four, work on being bold. The ability to speak up and say what you want is so attractive. As someone who is in tune with their feminine energy, if I meet a man and he is like in tune with his emotions, confident, self-aware, emotionally intelligent, and bold, if he tells me what he wants, if he's able to look me in the eye and say, I'm attracted to you, I wanna pursue you, that is music to my ears. I don't like to play games. A divine masculine and a divine feminine they don't play games. They know what they want, they balance each other out, and they just do what they gotta do to get to the point of, you know, getting into union. Hopefully that twin flame dynamic. A divine masculine is the type to say, I'm very, very attracted to you. I can see you being the mother of my children. Like, like I'm not in like a scary, like first date within 10 seconds type of way, but more of like a, hey, I want you. I'm gonna do what it takes to get you. I understand we're not there yet, but just know I have my eye on you. Like that is a divine masculine at its finest. Bold, assertive, they know what they want, you know? I'm not saying aggressive, I'm talking like, just know what you want, like you're confident, that's so attractive. Another factor that has to do with that is like being intentional, being very intentional with your act actions. Like you don't just do things for the sake of doing them. You do things with purpose, you move with purpose, you, you know the path that you're on, so you will take the necessary steps and have like a roadmap in your mind to get there, whatever that is in your life. Like, if you want that dream promotion, you know how to get there, you're gonna be very intentional with how you speak to people, how you carry yourself, what you do, how you educate yourself, you know? You're gonna be on that path and you know where you're going. A divine masculine sets boundaries as well as the feminine. This is very important. When you have a problem with something, you speak up. If you have a problem with someone, you cut them off. If you don't think something is serving you, you're not afraid to let it go. That is a divine masculine in their peak. Prime? Elements, element, in their element. <laughs> what was I even saying? And lastly, you protect. You protect, protect, protect. Whether it be your mom, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your son, your daughter, your kid, your friend, yourself, you protect. It's just in your nature to protect. You see someone on the street getting robbed, maybe you won't step in and fight them, but you're gonna keep an eye on them, call the cop, like you protect, you have like this instinct inside of you that you just need to protect and take care of others. So that should come like very naturally to you when you're in this energy. All right, I hope when I edit this video down, it's not so long, because right now it's like 40 minutes, 
but I just wanted to try and explain this to you in the best way that I could because I know a lot of people are throwing these words around but they don't really know what they mean and I want people to understand the meaning of them because I think everybody should get in tune with this side of themselves. So I forgot to drink my iced coffee. It's probably so warm now. Yeah, it's pretty warm. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please, please, please leave a comment and a thumbs up because that helps me out. It pushes my video through the algorithm. It literally takes you one second. Go click it, go click the like button. You did it? Okay, thank you. Takes a second and it helps me out more than you know. So comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what topic you want to see me cover on my channel next. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.